Hello and welcome to this video tutorial presenting major new features in the latest update to Rapid Plan and Rapid Path version 3.10. The headline feature of this release is support for importing data from KML files. Plus, there's also a lot of new functionality for advanced CAD like transformations of objects on your plan. Uh, before we go over the details, I just want to mention that in version 3.10, We've updated the core rendering engine of the application, which means that besides all the new features, you will notice the program is faster, more responsive, and consumes less memory. The complete list of changes in this update can be accessed by clicking on the full change log box here. Okay, so let's first look at our new uh, object transformation modes, which allow you to pick a custom reference point when scaling or rotating. It's easiest to present this feature on a specific example. Uh, say I want to enlarge the blue square, but make sure the corner that's aligned with the red rectangle remains in place. If I scale using the regular uh, scale handles, the corner gets offset and I'd have to realign it. So instead, uh, let's right click on the object, go to transform, scale, and click select scale point. This enables the scaling mode uh, that allows me to adjust the reference point for the operation by dragging this point handle. Note that the handle is snappable to other points, so I can easily position it, position it where the rectangle corners meet. If I now drag any of the scale handles, I can enlarge the object while preserving its position at my selected point. A special case of scaling with a specific reference point is scaling the object versus its center. And we have additionally exposed this feature uh, in the object transform tools. This works the same way, except it automatically positions the scale reference point in the center of the object, allowing you to shrink or enlarge the object without it changing its position. Other than scale at point, version 3.10 allows you to do the same thing for object rotation. Right click on the object, go to transform, rotate, select rotation point, and then position uh, the reference point as required. Please note that the reference point doesn't have to be inside the transformed object, um, so you can use this to rotate objects around other objects, for example. Once the reference point is set, uh, use either of the rotation handles to apply the transformation. While the tools presented so far are advanced object manipulation techniques that will be appreciated by users with AutoCAD background, Rapid Plan 3.10 also provides another object transformation feature that you will find useful anytime you need to fit two objects to one another. Let's start with a simple example. Say I want to fit this yellow circle inside the blue square. I'll right click on the circle and select transform fit objects. A pop-up panel appears in the top left corner of the screen with instructions on the steps I need to follow. First of all, I need to select two reference points and I'll use two neighboring corners of the circle's bounding box. Secondly, I need to select two target points and this time I'll use the corners of the rectangle as this is where I want the circle to end up. While I'm selecting the target points, uh, a preview of my transformed circle appears, uh, allowing me to make sure the result is what I actually want. After placing both the reference and target points, I can um, drag to adjust any of them. And once I'm happy with the result, I hit enter to apply the transformation. Okay, so how can this tool be applied in the real life scenario? Well, one example is fitting objects uh, to background maps, or in fact, aligning background maps themselves. Uh, let's look at this plan covering a seaside location in Miami, Florida. I've imported a high resolution aerial image covering the area, but the trouble is the imagery scale as well as its bearing don't match my plan. The Fit Objects tool applied to the aerial image will let me quickly resolve this problem. For my reference points, I'll use a couple of characteristic features uh, on the aerial image. Uh, they could be anything I could later easily match on the base map, for example, an intersection or the center of the roundabout. But here, 
points uh, on the both piers will be ideal. Uh, let's select one here and then the other one on the opposite side of the image. Uh, the more distance between the points, the more precise the fitting will be. So now I need to match these two points by selecting target points on the base map of the plan. Uh, let's first reduce the uh, preview opacity so that the image doesn't get in the way. The first point um, goes here and the other one goes here. Now let's check the results. Uh, dragging the opacity slider lets me confirm uh, that I got it right. So when I'm happy with the result I can just hit enter and my aerial image is now transformed to fit the underlying base map. All it took was just four clicks. Okay, so uh, before we look at KML import, I just want to quickly mention an improvement to RapidPath that comes with version 3.10. For those of you who haven't heard of RapidPath before, it's invariance application for performing vehicle sweat path analysis. RapidPath 3.10 comes with the ability to simulate vehicles with multiple steering axles. To show you an example, um, here's a simulation for the heavy hull vehicle from our materials handling library. When I'm drawing the path for this vehicle, uh, note how not only the cab wheels, but also three of the trailer axles turn when we're changing the path direction. Such vehicles naturally allow for much tighter turning radiuses and uh, Rapid Path now fully supports them in its sweat path analysis. If you're interested to learn more about Rapid Path and its capabilities, feel free to contact our support team. We are now finally getting to the headline feature of this release, uh, which is the ability to preview and import KML data for your traffic control plans. Uh, KML is the format used by Google Earth, among other products, and support for it has been requested by planners who have access to worksite data in this format. So we are now happy to announce that uh, it is now possible to incorporate this data into your rapid plan workflow. I have a sample plan here for a location in Brisbane, uh, Queensland, and a KML file containing OpenStreetMap data for selected roads across Australia. I'll go to Tools, Import, uh, KML file, select the desired file, and once it loads, I'll be presented with a preview of all the KML data within my current view. All visible features are uh, presented in the tree view panel as well as on top of my plan. Those that contain additional data are also clickable and this way I can preview the details of each presented road. I can either click on the tree view here or I can uh, pick items directly uh, on the plan. Now, in order to import the KML items onto the plan, I need to click the Import Selected Features uh, button at the bottom. This will import all features visible in the current view area. If I only want to import some items, I can either uncheck uh, the others in the tree here, or I can right-click on uh, items uh, directly in the preview, uh, which hides them. Uh, once I click Import, the visible items are converted to rapid plan objects and added directly to the plan. I can repeat this process uh, multiple times if I need to import more items from other areas. Um, I'll just need to scroll them into view and then hit import to add them to the plan. Once I'm done, I'll click finish uh, to exit the KML import mode and continue drawing my plan using the imported items. Note that for each imported object, its additional KML data is still accessible by selecting the object and clicking the KML icon in the bottom right corner. This wraps up our Rapid Plan and Rapid Path 3.10 overview. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, that you'll find the new features useful in your daily work. As always, if you have any questions, suggestions or other comments, feel free to contact our support team. 
Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.